السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی رب زدنی علما اللہم فقہنا فی الدین اللہم آمین ولقد یسرن القرآن للذکری فہل من مدکر And we have certainly made the Qur'an easy for remembrance. So is there any who will remember? Dear kids, today, in the basic terminologies of Arabic grammar, we will study about Hamzatul Wasil, Alif Mamduda, and Alif Maksurah. These are the terms which will be used again and again while learning Arabic grammar. What are they? We will learn about them a little bit just now. And we will learn about them in detail later. So, first of all, let's learn about Hamzatul Wasil. This is the name of Alif. We have to see which Alif is called Hamzatul Wasil as an other Alif is also known as Alif Mamduda. Then, there is another Alif which is known as Alif Maksurah. So, which Alif is it which is known as Hamzatul Wasil? It is that Alif which is not part of any word, meaning it will be written down, but it will not be read in continuity. So, what is the meaning of not read in continuity? Let me tell you. For example, Huallah. In this example, when we read these two words together, it is said that we read it in continuity. While reading it, what we did was that we joined well, with Allah and we didn't get to read Alif and this is Hamzatul Wasil. This is that Alif which isn't part of the word. But in the case of Waqf, Hamzatul Wasil will be read. For example, if we separate the two words then the Alif of Allah will be read. We don't read it in case of continuity but we do read it in case of Waqf and we put Zabr on Alif of Allah. It is a rule of Arabic grammar and we learn about when to put Zabar, Zir and Pajan Hamzatul Wasil later. So, right now just learn if Lam comes after this Hamzatul Wasil, then Zabar will come on Alif. Let's see an example. Alhamdulillah. We put Zabar on Alif. Similarly, if we read the word Allah separately, then we will put Zabar on Alif. But, we, but when we join who and Allah, then Alif will not be read. So now let's read about Alif Mamduda. It is that Alif which has a Mad on it. Mad can be recognized by a symbol of Mad. Every word which has a symbol of Mad is read a bit longer, such as Asma. Alif that has a Mad on it is known as Alif Mamduda. And now let's read about Alif Maksurah. It is very small and it is written on Ya, such as Kubra. This Khara Zabar that you can see on Ya is actually Alif. Sura. Alif Maksurah is that Alif which is written on Ya and is very small in size. So let's repeat today's lesson. Firstly, we read about Hamzatul Wasil. It is Alif and is in part of any word. It is written but not read in continuity. But in the case of Waqf, it is read. Hamzatul Wasil comes in the beginning of the word, such as Allah is a word and Hamzatul Wasil, which is also Alif, is at the beginning of the word. If Lam comes after Hamzatul Wasil, then the symbol Zabar comes on it. Then, we read about Alif Mamduda. Alif Mamduda is that Alif which has a Mad on it. Mad is a symbol. The letter with this mud is read a bit longer, such as Asma, Alif, Lam, Mim. Now it's Alif Maksurah. It looks like a small Alif, which is written on Ya, such as 
صغرى كبرى And that is the end of our session. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت ونستغفرك ونتوب إليك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته